Hello and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to create an AWS Lambda function with PowerShell. In my account, I don't have any Lambda functions set up yet, but we're going to change that. So here I have some very simple Python code. It basically is a function definition that takes some inputs and the function's named handler. One of the inputs is event and it's going to print a message that's more or less a hello world message with a first and last name. And then that's what it's going to return. So I'm going to go ahead and run this to output the Python file. It's going to create the file called hello world.py in the root of my user profile. And then the next thing we're going to need to do is zip it up. There's a couple different ways that you can create a Lambda function. You can either pass it a zip file or you could pass it some code that you have in an S3 bucket. We're going to do the zip file method. So I'm going to go ahead and zip up that hello world.py into a zip called hello lambda.zip also in the root of my user profile. And I'm going to store that in a variable because we're going to need that to create the Lambda function. Prior to the demo, I created a role called role underscore Lambda. We're going to run get I am role as we'll need the roles ARN string when publishing our Lambda function. We now have our zip file and we have our role. We're going to build a splat with the rest of the parameters that we want to pass to publish LM function. We'll give the function a name of Python underscore hello world and specify that our runtime is Python 3.6. We also need to specify a handler. This is the entry point that is run when an event triggers the Lambda function. Every language is a little bit different when it comes to handlers, but for Python, the handler is the file name dot the function name. In our case, hello world dot handler. We'll go ahead and pass the splat to publish lm function to create it. Now when we run get lm function list, we can see our function is present. Now we'll test the function with invoke lm function. We need to pass a payload. If you recall, the Python function takes inputs from event and will format a message with a first name and a last name. The payload needs to be JSON, so I'm going to take my hash table with my first name and last name and convert it to JSON. We can now run invoke lm function. We'll specify the function we just created, the one we called python underscore hello world, and that the invocation type is an event. We'll also pass our JSON payload with the first and last name. We can see that it returned a 202, which is a successful return for an event invocation. To confirm that it works, we can view the AWS CloudWatch logs. To do that, we can run get CWL log group. When we do it, you can see that there's a log group associated with our Lambda function. Let's go ahead and use get CW filtered log event and specify that log group to view the events that were logged in it. When we do that and review them, you can see a successful run of our Lambda function. And here you can even see hello from AWS Rob Plo. In this demo, we learned how to set up AWS and PowerShell to create Lambda functions, how to create a Python based Lambda function with PowerShell, and how to test run the Lambda function and confirm that it ran. As always, thanks for watching.